Hello all, this is Neera Sharma and you are watching my channel Biologics 5 and today I am here with 15 MCQs on translation. These MCQs will be helpful for you for your CVSC and board examinations and your medical entrance examination like NEET. So let's discuss these questions one by one. The first question is about amino acylation or charging of tRNA. Question is that during amino acylation or charging of tRNA, activated amino acid get linked to tRNA at 3 prime and 5 prime C T C C loop, TH loop. I have discussed the structure of tRNA in my video on translation part 1. I have discussed different loop of tRNA. I am drawing here also. These are different arms of tRNA. This is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end of tRNA. And there is hydroxyl group at 3 prime end which is a reactive group and the amino acid binds at this end because it is a reactive group and it is bind here and tRNA get charged. So the charging of tRNA during activated amino acid get linked to tRNA at the 3 prime end. This is the correct option. The next question in an mRNA molecule untranslated region present at 5 prime end, 3 prime end, both A, B, none of the above. I have discussed mRNA as translational unit also. After the transcription, mRNA is formed which function as translational unit and there are different regions on that. This is the 5 prime and 3 prime end of mRNA. This is the start codon AUG and there is a stop codon on it. UA we can take and there are multiple other codons also required for the polypeptide. So before these codons AUG and before AUG they are multiple sequences actually which are not get translated. These sequences are not get translated they are present before the start codon and after the start codon and these sequences are called UTRs. UTRs untranslated region. So these sequences present both at 5 prime as well as 3 prime end. So the answer will be both A and B. Next third question which of the following is a peptidyl transferase enzyme which is also a ribozyme. We have discussed this also actually the larger subunit of RNA I have discussed the structure of ribosome in translation part 2 ribosome as a cell factory there is a peptidyl unit p site here this peptidyl transfer enzyme is present and it is made up of 23 23 s ribosomal rna it function functions as ribozyme and it help in it help in binding to amino acid peptide bond between these two amino acid and this 23 s ribosomal RNA or peptidyl or known as peptidyl transfers help in binding to binding to this amino acid. So it catalyzes the reaction of peptide bond formation of peptide bond between two amino acid. So this 23 s ribosomal RNA function is ribozyme it also known as peptidyl transferase. Next come to a fourth question amino acid which are specified by single codon only. Yeah, discussed in salient features of genetic code. Actually, these two amino acids tryptophan and methionine are the only amino acid which are get, which are coded only by single codon. All other amino acids can be coded by more than one codon, but these two amino acids are only coded by single codon. Tryptophan is coded by U. GG, yeah, UGG codes for tryptophan and AUG for methionine. They are only single codon for these amino acids. So, this is the correct option. Next, the initiated TRN in prokaryotes is loaded with generally initiated TRN eukaryotes loaded with methionine, but in prokaryotes and in cell organelles of eukaryotes like mitochondria chloroplast, there is initiate, initiated TRN is loaded with formyl methionine. This formyl group is later removed from this tRNA but initially it is present during the translation. Next question there is no tRNA for this codon UAA, UGA, UAG quite clear actually these all are stop codons these all are stop codons and stop codons 
do not get recognized by tRNA actually there is no tRNA for stop codons and instead they are recognized by release factor which help in termination of polypeptide. So these all are stop codons there is no tRNA for them so all the above are the stop codons and there is no tRNA for them. Come to a seventh question which subunit of ribosome first encountered mRNA at the beginning of translation. So I have discussed during the part of translation during initiation of translation the smaller subunit first encounter the mRNA during the process of translation initiation of translation smaller subunit encountered mRNA then tRNA and larger subunits bind later. Next question tRNA is also known as transfer RNA, soluble RNA, adapter RNA. Actually these tRNA is also known by all these three names. tRNA is also known as transfer RNA because it transfers amino acid polypeptide. It is known as soluble RNA because it is soluble in one molar NaCl solution and it is known as adapter molecule because its function is a link between mRNA and the polypeptide chain. So all three answers are correct so the option will be D. Next come to our ninth question that what will be the sequence of DNA from which the given mRNA has been transcribed. Actually this is the mRNA sequence given and DNA, we have to find out the DNA from which this mRNA is transcribed. So we have to find the DNA so there will be a thymine presence of in place of uracil actually this is mRNA so there is a uracil group we have to find out DNA from which this mRNA transcribed so we will take T instead of U so find out the sequence complementary sequence to mRNA the complementary sequence will be there will be a T A C A A A then T a C G G A C A A A G A and A T T. So this will the sequence of so find out in these sequences actually T A C starting with T A C the sequence T A C A A A T A C G G A C this is the correct option A is the correct option. It's quite clear this sequence will be complementary to this. This is our DNA sequence and there is thymine presence of in place of uracil. So this sequence is the correct sequence. Now come to our 10th question. Given below are the steps of protein synthesis arrange them in correct sequence and select the correct option. So first codon anti codon reaction known is not the first step attachment of mRNA mRNA and smaller subunit charging of amino or aminosylation yeah this is the first step of translation actually and this be second this be third other than we can see also attachment of larger subunits I think this will be the fourth one. This is the first, this is the second and this is the third and it will be the fourth step and the linking of adjacent amino acid yeah, it can be a fifth step and this is the last one obvious formation of polypeptide in last step. So this will be the sequence first charging of tRNA then attachment of mRNA and then codon anticodon reaction attachment of larger subunit then linking of adjacent amino acid formation of polypeptide. So this option C option is the correct sequence. Yeah, third, second, first. No, this is not the correct sequence. Correct sequence is the D one. Sorry, yeah, this is the D. D. Third, second, first, fourth, then fifth, and then sixth. So this is the correct sequence. Tenth question. Now come to our 11th question, come to our 11th question what is this actually what would happen if a gene encoding a polypeptide of 50 amino acid 
ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ कोडॉन इज म्यूटेटेड टू यू ए ए क्वेश्चन ऑन म्यूटेशन एक्चुअली सो इफ यू टेक द सीक्वेंस सपोज दिस इज योर पॉलीपेप्टाइज सीक्वेंस एंड एट ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ कोडॉन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ कोडॉन इज म्यूटेटेड टू यू ए सपोज दिस इज योर यू ए यू एंड इट इज म्यूटेटेड विथ यू ए ए एंड वी नो दैट यू ए ए इज द स्टॉप कोडॉन सो नो मोर अमाइनो एसिड get translated after this codon because this is a stop codon ua it get mutated and this is the 25th so before this only before this this is the 24th amino acid so the sequence up to the 24th amino acid will get coded will get translated so in polypeptide there should be a 24 amino acid a polypeptide of 24 amino acid will form this will be the correct option now come to the 12th question the difference between mrna and trna are that mrna has more elaborated three dimensional structure due to extensive base pairing no mrna is not in three dimensional structure actually trna has more elaborated three dimensional structure due to extensive base pairing yeah three dimensional structure trna is a three dimensional structure trna usually smaller than mrna yes this is also a correct option last one the mrna bears anti codon but trna has codons no this is wrong actually mrna bears codons and trna has anti codons so the second and third option is the correct option so the b option is the correct option here so we will take this one second and third option is correct first and fourth is wrong now come to 13 questions which of these rna are required for translation mrna trna or ribosomal rna or all of these yeah all of these uh, rna are required for translation actually mrna is a translation unit trna is a charged molecule and bring amino acid to polypeptide chain and ribosomal rna is present in the ribosomal subunit actually is a structural rna which is required function also as ribozyme so all these rna are required for translation so all of these is the correct option next which of this codon have dual function this is a part of genetic code actually the aug yes the aug has a dual function we know that its function is start codon and codes for methionine and it also function as function as start codon and also codes for methionine so this is the dual function of aug and this is the codon which have dual function next come to the 15th last question cellular factory responsible for protein synthesis nucleus no ribosome yeah ribosome is the cellular factory actually these are also known as cellular factory for the translation they provide platform for the translation process so ribosome is a cellular factory this is a correct option so that's all for today hope these explanations for answers would be helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe my channel and ring the bell if you want to get notified first when i post my next video thanks for watching